Okay, folks, we have a quorum, and so I will call the meeting to order. Um, and before we start with any other items of business, I will ask the members who are participating remotely to uh, uh, introduce themselves. Harry Brown, District 3. Adrian Gill, District 1. Helen Cohn, District 2. Thank you. Okay. Um, meeting logistics, as always, anyone joining remotely, I'd appreciate it if you could change your name to your full first and last name. Anyone who wishes to speak, start by stating your name and where you live. We ask you to keep your comments or questions to under three minutes. Um, and we'll go from there. First item on the agenda is to approve the agenda. I assume there's no uh, changes requested to the agenda, so I'll consider the agenda approved. Um, next up, we have general business and appearances. This is an opportunity for any member of the public to address the council on any topic that is not on uh, this morning's agenda. Um, I'll ask now if there's any member of the public who wishes to address the council. Steve Whitaker. Whitaker, uh, I called your attention. I've made a request that the parking ordinance and dysfunctional uh, comprehension of it uh, and incomprehensibility of portions, even the police chief and the city manager not understanding how appeals are to be handled. Uh, and it, I requested it be on the agenda. So it's been set for the 17th, unfortunately, which has a very important emergency housing session, which is gonna take a lot of time. But you need to know and possibly take action that the police parking have accelerated their timeline to try to reboot my car over disputed, not yet heard on appeal, hearing issues regarding tickets. And they're attempting to do that by the 12th. And I have every belief that it is done preemptively before the council gets to hear the full uh, expose of how dysfunctional this is. Hearings have been requested in front of the council since 2019 and have not been held. So other tickets are contested based on inadequate signage or notice or not a non-functional driveway. But my point is, I'm not trying to litigate. I, I doubt that our parking ordinance, which I understand needs to be revised, is going to hold up in court if it needs to. But to rush ahead of this count hearing by the council to try to boot, tow, tow, or impound the vehicle, which I don't own, by the way, uh, is, is unconscious. It, it looks... Uh, punitive, uh, manipulative, dysfunctional, because I've asked this council, who for a long time was presumed to be the hearing body for administrative hearings on that topic. And maybe it's not the hearing body, but it is going to be, it is on the agenda for the 17th. And okay, I, I'm um, willing to postpone that further if the emergency housing plan needs to take further but i do not i think we should not be attempting to the the police should hold their uh hold their horses while this gets heard by the council well i i don't know what the process for appealing a parking ticket is um perhaps if there's any unclarity unclarity we could ask city council or city attorney to uh give us an opinion that's been done, but those records are being held as attorney-client privilege. I think that the council needs to review them in camera or in executive session and decide whether to release them because I believe that they're targeted at enforcement of me. But I believe it is clear that the city count, the, the city manager and the police chief both were unaware of how appeals are to be handled. And I've got that in email threads, which I was able to obtain. So. I, I just ask that you not further uh, exacerbate an already dysfunctional system by uh, attempting enforcement or impoundment at this time. 
Okay, thank you. Just for those who may be watching in 20... For those who may be watching in 20... Oh, I'm muted. Hold on. Do I need to unmute? No. No? no. Okay. For those who may be watching in 29 and a half years that I've been here, the City Council has never heard a parking ticket appeal at any time. It has never been the appeal body. So you're welcome to make your case, but that has not been the appeal process at any time ever. Um, and I believe all the proper time uh, all the proper time notices have been given. You've been given opportunities to make appeals uh, to the police chief, to the assistant city manager, and they've all been denied. So we are going to take up your concerns. The council does have all the emails in question. They were set forwarded to them some time ago. Uh, so they have the opportunity to review them with regard to your allegations, and they it will be on the agenda for them to decide whether or not to release them. Okay. Thanks, Bill. Um any other member of the public wishing to address the council? I'm not seeing any, so we'll move to the consent agenda. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Councillor Alfano, you've joined us. Could you uh, uh, introduce yourself? Uh, Sal Alfano, District 2. Thank you. Um, next, we have the consent agenda. Is there a motion to approve the consent agenda? Move to approve the consent agenda. And is there a second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. Next, the uh, uh, item number six, setting the municipal tax rates for fiscal 25. And we have our finance director here. Finance director. Um, I don't have any presentation to give on this. Um, this is based on the budget that went forth to the voters and was approved in March. This is simply a math calculation to get us back to the rate um, that will be going out on tax bills by the end of this week. Um, what I'm asking is that you approve the fiscal year 25 municipal tax rate of 0.9391 cents per 100 and water sewer benefit charge of two cents and sewer separation of seven cents to raise the adequate funds for this fiscal year 25. Um, this is 1% more than originally projected um, to increase the tax rate at budget time. Uh, we had discussed this, the grand list um, fluctuated and went down a little bit, but not as much we had originally anticipated. So the tax rate increase this year municipal is 4.9%. Thanks, Sarah. Does anyone have any questions? Did you want to jump in, Bill? I just, the only question is, do they have to set the school rates too? No. No, okay. I'm not seeing any hand ra hands raised. Is there a motion to approve the uh, tax rates as described? So moved. And is there a second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, we've set the uh, fiscal 25 tax rates. Um, I don't see any other business, so we can be in adjournment at 9.09 a.m.